Hello everybody, Ampamine here, coming at you with some more Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Now, in the last episode, we rescued the big old Wookiee Zalbar. There are quite a few areas left in the sewers to explore, but honestly, there's nothing particularly interesting in here. It's all just a few more Gamorrean patrols, a couple more corpses with some med kits, computer, uh, computer slicers, that kind of thing. But there is a specific dialogue that will very likely happen between Karth and Mission that I want to show all of you. So I am going to show that when it comes up. And then I'm just going to explore everything else off screen. So be back in a second. Alright, here we are at the force field leading over to the Volker base. Unfortunately, I didn't get the dialogue between Karth and Mission, but... I'm sure we'll get it eventually. I explored the rest of this relatively small sewer space, and like I said, you'll get a few things, some med packs, a couple of computer spikes, that sort of thing. Nothing particularly valuable, but still, nice to have. You won't be able to get that computer to lower the energy fields unless you know the proper codes. Let me guess you know the Lucky proper codes. You, I've got them. I picked ah. them off the pocket of a black vulgar who had a little too much to drink in the cantina one night. Here. Let me get that energy field down for you. Why, thank you, Mission. Much appreciated. And here are we go to the upper sewers. Yes, I know there's a level up. Uh, an interesting thing to note is the entirety of the sewers, if I haven't noted this before, you can still go from your hideout and back if you need health. So uh, don't waste your med kits unless you really, really need them. And here we find a bunch of Rakuls fighting a bunch of Gamorians. And I'm just gonna try and get experience burns. Smack them up. Just because I can. And I like experience points. I don't know why. It's a thing. I have, I have, a, I have a condition. It's very serious, actually. Titus. It's, I don't know. You know sometimes. It's, it's, it's tough, honestly, but definitely something that, it, you know, you can live with it. It's just, it's not easy. It's not easy sometimes. Why, hello there, Fragmines. Yeah? We are going to want to have Mission try and pick up as many mines as we can for a little trick later on in the sewers here. Because there is going to be a pseudo boss fight if we want to take it. Uh, if you want to, you can kind of skip it. But I don't want to. I want to cheese it. What? Because I like experience points. And you know what? I'm not afraid to cheese to get me my experience points. Nothing's gonna stop me from getting my experience points. Seriously, it's it's a sickness, and in, in a very literal sort of way. Yeah. Also, before I forget, off screen I added the beam splitter that we got, as well as the scope to uh, Bendix Blaster. I added the beam splitter to the Bendix Blaster that my protagonist uses, and added the scope to the Bendix Blaster that Karth is also using. So, uh, oh, and the uh, vibration cell to Mission's Fiber Blade. Because we're probably going to want to have her switch to... I wanted to say manual, but that's not really what... That's not what I'm thinking of. Switch to melee uh, before too long here. Because the next area we're going to be going to will be relatively close quarters. Okay, just shoot at him. Over the... Don't go over the my mission, I swear. Huh? Just, just, just pick it up. Just pick it up. Just pick it up while everybody else takes care of Oh my googly moly. You are upsetting, Christian. Yeah, you are upsetting greatly. <sighs> Deep breaths. Deep breaths in the way. <sighs> Again, you're going to pick up as many mines as possible, because even if you don't end up using them, Honestly, I don't use them all that often. There's still a fairly good source of credit in cut what? Because you, you just sell them off for however much you want. Now, I, one of these ways, it's this way, hooray! One of these ways leads to enemies and loot. And the other way is the way that we're actually supposed to go. But 
as is usual in RPGs. You never want to go the way that you are supposed to go. Because all of the other raids are the ones that have all of the sweet experience and awesome loot. <laughs> no remains. No remains, guys, really. I'm not gonna... Freaking Gamorians, man. Stingy. Stingy bastards. You murder them? Freaking nothing. Freaking nothing. But we get a few credits for our trouble and experience points. And there should be a few other Gamorians over here, I think. Nope. Uh, hey, uh, Karth, can I, dialogue. can I talk to you for a second? Are you ready to have a civil chat? Or is this going to be another childish tantrum? Pantrum? Boom! I'm trying Great. to apologize, you nerf herder. I mean, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get mad at you. It's just that I'm sick of everyone treating me like I'm a helpless kid. Yeah, I know. Aww. And I'm, I'm sorry about what I said, too. I'm just a little on edge lately. Not surprising, Love. considering all we've been through. <sighs> I shouldn't take it out on you. Ah, oh, yeah, it's about time. Mission, you have to know that we don't think you're helpless. I mean, look where we are. Look at what we're doing. You're not just along for the ride. We need you. You really mean sort it, of. don't you? Nobody's ever said anything like that to me before. Not even Big Z. He might think it, but he's not really one for words, you know. Well, uh, Thanks, in terms of well, conventional words, well, I know. Not, Sometimes you, know. you just need to hear a few words of encouragement. Kids are like that. Kids are like that? Listen, you... Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Okay, you funny got me. Funny guy. You're pretty funny, yeah, right, yeah, For an old guy. Come on, geezer. Let's get back to what we were doing. Aww. Heartwarming. Now let's go loot this severed arm. <laughs> I love the juxtaposition here. Everyone's like, yay! Oh, everyone's getting along. Now we just gotta, gotta grab some stuff from the severed arm. So you get the synthesized odor and a Beck data pad. Uh, I'm not gonna go through my inventory to actually read what the Beck data pad says. Basically, it says that there's a Rancor in the next room, and that the synthesized odor is a specialized thingamabob jig that. Uh, smells exactly like the Rancor's favorite prey. So what the Bex were planning to do was plant some sort of explosive in a bunch of bodies in this room, along with the synthesized odor, and then it would all explode inside the Rancor, mind, and completely murder it. Murder it. But I'm not going to do that, at least not quite yet. I'm going to make a couple of preparations, and I will be right back. All right, my preparations are finished. You'll see here that we have the corpse pile, which we can loot a computer spike and two fragmentation grenades, which we're gonna grab over there. You'll see giant rancor. Now, he's practically impossible to kill in a straight fight because he he doesn't have too much too much HP, and it's actually actually possible to hit him. However, he does enough damage to one-shot any of your characters at this point, and his attack bonus is high enough where pretty much he's going to just total party kill your entire team in three rounds. So, you can't approach it using conventional methods. So, you'll see over there, about six or seven fragmentation mines, all set in the exact same spot. So, this is, you'll note we're in solo mode now with Mission, because she has the demolition skill to set the mines, and then I don't want to- nope, nope, nope. Select- select the Rancor! Select the Rancor! Select the Rancor! I don't want to piss him off, and then lead him directly through the path of the fragmentation mines, and if we- Oh! Ah, just barely didn't kill him, but what we can do is just chuck fragmentation mines at him until he dies. Or not. Or we can completely fail. Sure. <sighs> Fragmentation mines at him until he dies. There we go. So yes. <laughs> I guess it takes about seven fragmentation mines. It depends on whether he makes his saves for them or not. Because if he makes his saves, it does half damage. But... We've managed to murder the Rancor, and we got 750 experience points as a reward. And you also notice, mission leveled up. But, before we do that... Actually, we're gonna check the remains. 
And you'll see it has this little special little lock icon. That means you have to slice his body open to get the loot, which is kind of awesome. I mean, it makes sense. This is not gonna have any stuff in him. Ah, oh, I didn't have anything interesting. But there's a sort of, well, I guess you would call it a glitch. Corpse pile. Switch to give item. So what you do is you, if I can find, there we go, the synthesized odor. You give it the synthesized odor, and I'm gonna give it one fragmentation grenade, and then close. And you get a small cutscene with an invisible rancor smelling the synthesized odor and beating the pile of corpses that are already eaten inexplicably and exploding and killing him. So, this is how you're technically supposed to kill him, but you only get the 200 experience points. But if you kill him and then put an explosive in the corpse pile with the synthesized odor, then you get 900 total experience points instead of just the 200. Neat, huh? Yeah. All right, real quick, we're gonna level up mission, computer use, awareness, security, demolitions. And she gets improved scoundrel's luck, which makes her AC slightly higher, which is good because she needs all the AC she can get. Okie dokie, sure. I am going to head back to my base, do a couple other things, hope my party members get the crap out of my way. And I will be right back in front of that there door. All right, and we are back. Now, behind this sewer door are gonna be a bunch of Volker guards. They've got energy shields, so I have a quick mission with Mission's Viber Blade. Karth uh -huh. still has his blasters because, well, he kind of sucks with everything else. So let's open the door and stab us some black Volkers. Away! For the snack cakes. Yeah, your energy shields don't do nothing when you get stabbed in the neck. That's what happens. What happens to people like yourself. Nothing. The thug life. But no. Can't handle the thug life. Get your butt kicked by some dude. Some Republic dude. Yeah. Get a shoot corpse with three med packs on it. And this elevator will lead us directly into the Black Volker base. But I am going to end this episode here. Thank you all very much for watching. This has been me, Ampamine, coming at you with some more Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. And I will catch all of you on the flip side.